bitches. My name is David. That's probably not a good way to start a video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today is another beautiful day. I want to start off by saying thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing, but I want to show you guys the star of the video. What the hell is this? It's lipstick. Crap, I hope my wife doesn't know this. Freaking shoes are the star of the show because I have been looking for the longest time for a nice good fake pair of Dr. Martens and I found it. They're too freaking cheap to go out and buy the real ones for myself and uh, honestly I, I think it's overpriced and I don't see the necessity for that. And uh, these are actually like my third pair of fake Doc Martens that I've bought and these look like the best fakes so far to date. We're going to review them, check them out, and I'm also going to show you guys what else I picked up this week and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's just roll into it, son. Alright, so there's the fake Doc Martens right there. As you guys can see, I'm gonna, we're going to go over it put together. Uh, here's all the stuff I picked up this week. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so that actually was a lot. Those, those were 40 bucks. Actually, 38. Yeah, that actually, that was a lot of stuff I picked up. Let's look at the Doc Martens. So they came in this bag, obviously not very professional, no box or anything like that. Uh, so let me show you guys. So you guys can see it's even got this this uh, transparent look in here, like just like the Dark Martins. And I did like the fact that it came with this white string instead of the yellow. I don't like the yellow at all. So <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> I don't care if anybody can tell that they're fake. I can give two shits. My only concern is that they feel comfortable and they give me the look that I want because I am not a sneaker person and I prefer to use shoes but this is the kind of look I like with my pants when my pants are cut and frayed at the bottom I like the way they look when they're over the shoe basically all I want to see is this part down here and also the front of the shoe so right now I've, I've got like uh, some Skechers work shoes that look like this the bottom is black string over here I think is white oh great <laughs> But they're starting to look old. I've had them for five years. I only wear them when I go out on the weekends with my wife and my daughter. So these were $45. They had a coupon which dropped the price to $38, which was really good. Um, like I said, this is my third fake pair that I've bought. I've also wore the other ones and returned them. I only buy stuff like this with Prime just because I don't want to get stuck fighting with, them, with some freaking asshole in China that's the only reason and I'm looking forward to these working out I hope they're good because by far these are the best fakes I've ever seen all right so let's open up uh, let's look at the ones that I've already taken out of the box all right so I picked up these these batteries uh, I bought these batteries before they're not bad they're definitely not like super long life but they do last quite a bit and when you compare the difference in price between these and energizers and, and Duracells and whatnot the price difference makes up for the life it's calculated just right I need these because my daughters and my newborns they have uh, bassinets with a little vibration thing in them so I've been changing the batteries a lot uh, I'm looking into some nice uh, rechargeable batteries that I want to keep plugged in all the time all right so let's open up this next one here this is actually a USB sharing device uh, basically if you have uh, two computers or you have something that you don't need plugged in all the time I honestly I don't like to have a bunch of my USB devices always constantly plugged in even if I don't use them that often I feel like it just it just absorbs resources you know what I mean because the computer is still registering it it's still there basically what I want to do is I want to plug this in there you go it is a USB 3 and on top of it there's buttons right so what you do is you face this out this part out the desk so you can hide the wires and depending on what device you want to use you just push these buttons on top so this way it's out of four devices only one of them will be registered at, at a time and uh, here's the other thing I picked up these are actually sunglasses I bought uh, I go through probably a pair of sunglasses once a year because they break and I honestly I like I'm super cheap if you guys already know uh, I don't like to spend a lot of money on stuff especially if something that's gonna break like you know glasses I always break them I wear my, my glasses on my head I never wear my glasses on my eyes unless I'm at the beach or something so I I recently broke my pair which I had for just about a year all I know is that when my glasses break I'm not sad like because my money's lost I'm sad because I got attached to the style this one here is my new ones that I picked up I'm really happy with them I think they're super cool they got that look that I like they have this rubber piece here which holds it up against my hair so basically it's just gonna be like this so Alright, so what I ended up picking up is uh, this 
tray. Uh, like I said before, I'm not too crazy about some sort of synthetic brush crap. I like the, the spongy kind and I also like the cotton kind. This comes with the sponges and this comes with the cotton one. And I use this a lot. I use this small type of roller a lot. I saw this on sale for $5.50. I saved a dollar fifty. Actually, no, that's a lie. Now the Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five. So if I if this is seven units. So it would cost me almost nine dollars. Actually, it would cost me nine dollars with tax. This is gonna last me the whole year, so I've got enough. Let's right. open up the next one. All right. So what this is is LED uh, E26, E27s. They screw into the light bulb. These have become very popular. If you guys haven't noticed in the past, you know, three years or so, they have just taken off the pricing on these things. I've been, I've like started like fifty dollars, and and then you got the retail ones. It's just rebranded with the Asking TV and. Other names charging you $25, $40 for these stupid lights. This came with the three, they're, they're foldable. You know, I bought these for my living room, but they don't fit. It came with two of them. I took, like I said, I took the other one out to use. These things are so freaking bright. All right, uh, if you guys go back, you, you should probably, you know, you've probably seen one of these before. It has a different packaging. Uh, the one that I showed you guys in one of my other unboxings was actually from eBay. That actually cost me $8, which is crazy. This one cost me five. Uh, I only bought this one because I'm gonna be using this for my for charging all my uh, controllers and things like that. I'm actually building a, a drawer underneath my futon, which is gonna go over here so, and facing my TV so I can game over there with my daughter and stuff and watch movies at night with my wife. So that's gonna be super cool to do. And underneath the drawer, I'm gonna have these things where they're all gonna be plugged in to the controllers. And the reason I wanted this is because it's got switch on it see so with the switch let's say you have like a 360 and you use the Xbox one you don't want to have that thing constantly charging all it's gonna do is kill your batteries like my Wii U I'm not I'm not gonna be using the Wii U as much as I'm going to be using the Wii I'm not gonna be using the switch as much as I'm gonna be using the Wii I mean you know what I mean so I don't I like to know that I can turn these off you know what I mean and I'm also gonna have a master power switch which will turn off the power for the all the charging during the week I don't need to have this on all the all day long charging is that capable of charging but either way I'm not concerned about it because I could just take it apart and wire it for charging it's not gonna be a big freaking project on that all right so let's open up the next one. Oh. This is actually for my wife's room. Uh, I a while back in one of my original videos, uh, I did a charging dock for my wife's smartwatches. Well, since then, my wife's got twice, three times more smartwatches, and I've already picked up the shelves. So the shelves plus these extension cables, the USB three extensions. So you got the female part here and you got the male here. Uh, I'm going to be installing two or three more shelvings for her smartwatches. So they'll be docked over there. And I needed some extensions for some of the cables. Let's get the next one. So uh, if you guys go back, you guys can see this, this was a very popular accessory for computer desks and gaming stuff and all that crap. Basically, it holds headphones on each side, right? It has like the little little things that hook here. And then this has the double-sided tape. It has charging ports in the front. So basically, you can screw it in right there. There's, there's the two holes. There's a power source right here. So it has its own cable. So inside, it's got the power for the uh, USB ports for charging uh, and so what the thing is is I wasn't really looking for this I only picked it up not that I had an intentions on using it I know it sounds stupid believe me I know uh, but the reason I picked it up it was three dollars and twenty cents I don't know why it was so cheap it might have been one of those sellers that was leaving Amazon or one of those sellers that were being kicked out by Amazon and they were like liquidating everything because it'd be cheaper to just do that than to have Amazon pack everything and send it back all right so I want to say thank you to you guys for watching my unboxing I hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to come back for more unboxings every other week for my new subscribers I like to post on Wednesdays at 5 o'clock and but if I, something comes up you know my, my my twins they always got appointments so for some reason if I can't do it I, I usually post on a Thursday at 5 o'clock I prefer to keep my strategy on Wednesdays just in case my new subscribers so they know what's going on so don't forget to come back for another unboxing in another week and a half and I hope you guys continue watching my videos and I'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to love life be kind I am a prodigy, I am a leader, they follow me. I am a prodigy, I am a leader, they follow me. I am a prodigy, I am a leader, they follow me.